It all started so simply. I had just finished my usual morning routine of nude funker size, fired up the Barca lounger, grabbed a quick bite to eat, and prepared to watch some serious tube. Little did I know, my snack was sent by Rez. Do you remember Gex the Gecko games? Or are you too young to even know what that is? Welcome back to Game Circle. Today we will talk about another unreleased game from Crystal Dynamics with this one being their own mascot. Gex is a platform video game developed by Crystal Dynamics and created by Lyle Hall. We had spoken about Crystal Dynamics in the Pandemonium video, you know, the developers of these games. Anyway, this little gecko was actually the primary mascot for Crystal Dynamics until the year 2000. The main character Gex is a television aficionado inspired by American TV culture. He makes remarks and references to pop culture which made him a big hit. After inheriting billions from his uncle, he buys the world's largest TV, gets his own island, and goes on his own adventures while his nemesis Rez wants to control the media. Now Gex only had three main games, with the last one being released back in 1999. These three games are the original Gex game just named Gex, the second Enter the Gecko, and the third Deep Cover Gecko. There was also a Game Boy Color game named Deep Pocket Gecko. He would also reappear as an unlockable character in Hot Shots Golf 2 and Mad Dash Racing. The next up for release was Gex 4, which was definitely happening as proved by the artwork released for it. But then the game was cancelled without a hint. But why? This may have been the fate of most games that get cancelled which is usually due to sales and interest. Now after the third installment, the Gex Resurrest toy action figures were cancelled without any warnings due to a lack of interest from people for the Gex series. This decline could have made the studio feel that the game would have the same results. According to PS Extreme and the Nintendo Power magazines, Gex 4 was to be released for PlayStation 2 and the Nintendo GameCube. The final nail in the coffin for this sequel's cancellation would have to be that Dana Gold, who voiced Gex, went on to be a writer and producer for The Simpsons from 2001 to 2007. And needless to say, working with The Simpsons probably took most of his time and may have caused Crystal Dynamics to stop the project. In the end, Gex 4 was never released and the last thing that fans were given was a novelized version of the Gex video game series which was a written companion to Gex 3 and a children's book published by Troll Communications back in February 8, 2000. Crystal Dynamics had been acquired by Eidos Interactive in 1998 and then Square Enix acquired Eidos in 2009. In 2015, Square Enix did announce to independent developers that they can work on certain Eidos games, and one of them was Gex. A 2016 reply tweet from Phil Elliott, the director of indie publishing at Square Enix, stated that developers are free to submit their pitches for a new Gex game via direct message, but no information has ever been released since then. Sadly, no information has ever been released about that. 
Sushi Games did reveal that at one point they considered working on the revival of the series and released just one single concept art they had on their idea, but they also gave up on the game. And this was pretty much it. So what do you think? Would you like to see Gex 4 or the revival of the series? Could we maybe get Gex added to new games like Smash Brothers or even have cameos in Fortnite or other games? Should we just give up on these games like they did? Anyway, if you have any ideas on which lost games or series we should do next, leave a comment on your thoughts and don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this one at GameSurf.